my feed by uh, I think it was some guy named uh, Tommy Ryder if I'm not mistaken hello I am Richard Ryder see right there Richard Ryder and I'm also subscribed to you see how it rolls over and I also like your video and I will be the first like right there their violent actions, their attitudes, their anger, their pure, not, their pure stupidity, their, you know, their bog, their bogged down way of thinking. They don't want to come out of, you know, Section 8 housing and poverty and, you know, uh, I guess to sum it up, ratchetness. I think all of those are like surface levels of thinking it's much deeper than that you know of course you can look at you know the, you can look at the girl who was snapping on the bus driver uh, and got knocked out by the bus driver and you can sort of it's funny it's wow factor but at the same time it's like you hit a woman now I get it, she was 25 years old, she had a long history of these things. And it's probably solely up to her to get it right, but how do you know that this woman does not have any mental defects from her childhood? You know. Alright, so you basically talked about how this female could have been unstable valid point but you have to also flip the scenario how do you know the bus driver was not unstable and most important what does that have to do with anything that me or Tom is talking about it's hard to determine you know who's who but you know with our black women it's, it's, it's deeper than that man they have been suffering for years, for centuries, for decades, however long you want to say it. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected one, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. And as Muslims, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us to respect our women and to protect our women. Period have been, you know, confused on what their position is in the world. Women brother that the woman has always looked to the man to solve problems. Understand mm -hmm. that black women do not want to be with us. It's because right now she has been put into survival mode. She has been mm -hmm. thrust there and the men have not stepped up to go and rescue her, to find her bring her back into the fold where it is that we were as a family. Right now, mm -hmm. we do not have a mentality of the warrior to go and do the fundamental things to get those sisters back. At this particular time, they are going to look at us like we did something to them because, remember, they are the problem staters. They state problems. They don't solve them. They acclimate, adapt, and adopt, and that's what the feminine principle does. She may think that she is in charge. She may think that she's solving problems, but that's because the society now has structured itself around her so that her problems can be solved by her because all of the necessary fundamental resources are there for her now. So at this point of the video, brother, you're sitting there and uh, you're talking about women what they're supposed to be doing and what they should not be doing and how that's all man-made and the role they're supposed to be playing and everything else and 
Uh, basically, I mean, I feel like you're really rambling. I mean, we learned in school about the hunters and the gatherers. We already know that the males are the stronger of the two sexes. Um, we also know that females are good nurturers and the male is supposed to be the provider, hunter and gatherer. Uh, these are basic principles that go on. Uh, in Islamic countries, Muslim countries, women know their place. They don't have these issues that they have in uh, over here in America. They're not children born out of wedlock. And if they are born out of wedlock, most likely that female was raped. And if they were born out of wedlock, they would kill that female. And it's called an honorable killing. I actually have a minors in uh, Muslim studies. And Spanish, Latin, American countries, they don't have the problems that us have, what, that we have, excuse me, in America with our women. Uh, our women have the highest abortion rates, but yet we're not the biggest. I mean, that right there is a issue. I just made a video called Dethroning the Black King. You should check it out. Um, then you talk about how you have four sisters and out of your four sisters, they all had children out of wedlock. And your mother had all of you, I guess that's five, and there was no man in the house. And if you can't have empathy or sympathy for that, there's something wrong with you. Are you being inhumane? And I'm just going to basically break it down so there is no dick measuring between us. This is my grandfather. This is my grandmother. This is my mother. This is me. My mother passed away when I was at a young age. So did my grandfather. It was just me and grandma. It was just us two. Okay. My mother had both parents. So why would she sit back and try to get a man unlike her father? I don't know. This is that foolish behavior that Tommy Sotomayor was talking about. And I hate the fact that my mother did all of these negative things but this is what it is let's call a spade a spade a star a star a pig a pig and something foolish something foolish now I do not regret my life but my mother had me out of wedlock and in your Bible it's called having a bastard I am a bastard child I am named after my grandfather I love my grandfather I love my mother I love my grandma and I love myself but According to how the Bible said marriage should be in bringing children into the world, I should not be here. I'm something detestable to God. And that's found in the Bible. And if I have to run a scripture to you, I will. I also don't understand why you was talking about a woman changing her tire or carrying her bags or doing anything else. I mean, a woman's going to have to take care of herself regardless. But it is definitely good if a woman has a mate. The black American female, number one, what is a black American female? Someone from slave descent. Someone that's from slave descent that is in America that speaks English. I mean, even the terminology of what we call ourselves is something that's baffling and also confusing. But let's just stick to the topic at hand. We have never existed in history. We are the first generation of people in the world to ever exist like this. And what I mean is we have ties to Africa, but we can't trace our ties. And Africa does not claim us. Africans clearly say that you guys are American. You're not African American. They tell their children this when they come over here. They may look like you. They may even perform like you, but you two are not the same. Those are Americans. Uh, brother, in the last part of your video, you talk about how it's a situational thing and how these young females look to a TV and how the educated black females don't come back. But you have to understand something else. Even though you went to a white school or even a black school and they sat back and taught you some form of education, there's still the general education that you get from the generation above you. I learned a lot from my grandmother. She just passed away this year. She was 84 years old. 
So why are these females not going to the generation before them, their elders? That's where the knowledge is. They're not. And you would be silly to sit back and say that this is not a mechanism which is designed to keep black people or people of African descent or people from slave descent or people from mixed heritage a system to design to keep you down. If you sit back and do not deny, uh, excuse me, accept this but deny this, that's just a level of foolishness that you would be displaying. Black females have lost their king. Their king is their father. The father is not around to raise the son. The son grows up to be a big boy, not a man, a big boy that sags his pants. I was blessed enough to have a grandmother who put the good book, the Bible, in my hands and had me go around the elders of the church, had me learn how to fish, had, had me learn certain things that men need to do. My grandma did not sit there and put all that weakness, that femaleness. She said, go out, hang out with your male friends. Go out, hang out with your uncles. So I would still get that maleness. So I wouldn't have a lot of female tendencies. Like constantly arguing. Being catty over stuff. You know, I know how to back down away from a situation. And that right there is my point. Um, if you want to reply back, so be it. And check out my new video. The Dethroning of the Black King. Uh, brother, in the last part of your video, you talk about how it's a situational thing and how these young females look to the TV and how the educated black females don't come back. But you have to understand something else. Even though you went to a white school or even a black school and they sat back and taught you some form of education, there's still the general education that you get from the generation above you. I learned a lot from my grandmother. She just passed away this year. She was 84 years old. So why are these females not going to the generation before them, their elders? That's where the knowledge is. They're not. And you would be silly to sit back and say that this is not a mechanism which is designed to keep black people or people of African descent or people from slave descent or people from mixed heritage a system to design to keep you down. If you sit back and do not deny, uh, excuse me, accept this but deny this, that's just a level of foolishness that you would be displaying. Black females have lost their king. Their king is their father. The father is not around to raise the son. The son grows up to be a big boy, not a man, a big boy that sags his pants. I was blessed enough to have a grandmother who put the good book, the Bible, in my hands and had me go around the elders of the church, had me learn how to fish, had, had me learn certain things that men need to do. My grandma did not sit there and put all that weakness, that femaleness. She said, go out, hang out with your male friends. Go out, hang out with your uncles, so I would still get that maleness, so I wouldn't have a lot of female tendencies, like constantly arguing, being catty over stuff. You know, I know how to back down away from a situation. And that right there is my point. Um, if you want to reply back, so be it. And check out my new video, The Dethroning of the Black King.